barbecue stand in a white t-shirt. You were killing me with that mini skirt. Detective James Beckett, Greensboro PD. Oh, am I doing something wrong? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm here to take you in. <laughs> just kidding. Whoops. <laughs> I was just wondering what you're doing Saturday. Oh. Are you asking me out? Yes, ma'am. Your prince has arrived. <laughs> Said this morning about the privacy test not being positive. So was I. Oh no, I, I just didn't know it was that important to you. <coughs> Maybe that'll help you remember, honey. Oh. Sit your ass there, right there. Sit down. Okay. And don't you fucking move. Don't you fucking move. Now come home. I'm a little hungry because I've been working all fucking day and night to support your goddamn ass. And I'm looking for the peanut butter to carry the one to my food. Is it peanut butter? No. Is it maybe mystery sauce? I don't know. Maybe it could be. What the fuck is it? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? What the fuck is it? I Shut your fucking mouth! Birth control pills for who? For my wife, Teresa Beckett. What the fuck are you doing fucking birth control pills? I will no longer be disrespecting my own fucking house! And most fucking importantly, you will get fucking pregnant. Do you want to fucking stand me? Yeah. Oh, fucking just open your fucking legs.
I know it's him, but yes, I just found proof. Come now. Hey, why is the door locked? Um, just a minute. No, I don't like locked doors in this house. Uh, I just, just a minute. Unlock the door. Killed my little kitty cat. So now you know. Since you're so curious, let me show you what I do. First, first we cut. Your fucking nose, and I know. You had to go stick in your nose where it didn't belong into my business, into my private life. That's never. You betrayed my love, didn't you? Huh? Instead of being a good one. Instead of being a good one. Being loyal and trusting and having a fucking baby. Huh? You ruined every fucking thing! You ruined it! I'm so sorry! And now, what we're doing is we take care of you. Yeah, I start to slide away. No! The last thing you fucking see is my eyes. Look at the fucking my eyes. I say goodnight. Say the fucking back away now. Now. Back away, Jim. <laughs> Bad procedure, Officer Black. Never, I ever step in the patient's strike zone. You were either sleeping in class, or you weren't paying attention. In either case, you deserve this. Discipline. Another damn drill. Hey, do me a favor. Let me slide on out here. There's no shift change schedule. <laughs> James Beckett escaped yesterday from Pescadero State, about 100 miles from here. And we could be running for the mountains, or we could be coming home. As many of you know, Beckett liked to use disguises to get close to his victims. He brutally raped and tortured 10 women, in the end suffocating them with nylons in a plastic bag. Beckett was a cop in this precinct for three years, so he knows police procedure like the back of his hand. He framed a suspect in the killings by planting evidence he had taken from the scene of his crimes. That's what we're dealing with, okay? 
His son of a bitch made detective. He was a hero in this town. And my partner, a man I trusted. That's the deal with him. You want to trust him. But believe this, James Beckett is evil on two legs. the man here tonight, huh? Do it, do it, do it, do it, Excuse me. Do you know what J.T. Dillon? Thank you. Hi. Mr. Dillon? Tess. Uh, Police Lieutenant Difford sent me. He said if you weren't in your place at the country, you might be here. This is my vacation home. Want some peanuts? No, thank you. Here, yeah, darling. What's a rose like you doing with a weed like that, huh? I don't really think that's your business. What do you say you and me back to uh, my place for a little loving, huh? I say no. How about a little here and now? I man? say no. Here, man. Got me little mermaid, boys. Woohoo! Come on, darling. She's a feisty one, too. Get off of me! Come on, you know. Sit down, darling. Get off of me! Just get freaking little love. Yeah. Come on. Hey, Rick! Uh, Stay out of this, let JT. Go. You can't do this, man. She's a friend of a friend. Let go of me. Come on, let her go. Uh, you know what? You didn't say please. Okay? Please. <laughs> Sober up fast. You think I was drunk? Um, I just assumed. And just because somebody looks drunk doesn't mean they are. Bifford told me you were an expert on self defense. I believe him. He also said you helped people with problems like mine. I just help people solve their own problems. That's all I'm asking. Go home. Call a lawyer or a cop. Mr. Dillon, please, I've been to cops, I've been to lawyers, I almost got myself killed. What are you doing? I saw that when Rick was grabbing you. You learned from the man who did that? It's not that simple. No, I'm not running. Right. Mm -hmm. You turned around to fight. Trouble is, you're a corner cat with no claws. So you come to me, thinking I can grow them for you. Yeah. I can teach you things. But they don't mean squat unless you have the instinct to survive. 
you can just teach me what to do, I'll be responsible for it when I do it. I teach you how to shoot somebody and you do it. I'm just as responsible. Well, Dippert said you owe him one, and taking me on would square it with him. basic training. Maybe that'll be enough. If you have the will to fight. And that lady, no one can teach you. Helps me sleep better. Wait here a minute. I uh, wasn't exactly expecting a guest tonight. personal delivery to your place. I know it's the anniversary of your wife's death, but she needs safe haven. Keep this strictly between you and me for now. Call me back ASAP for details, buddy. Would you like me to explain now? Not really. Have a seat. What do you drink? Uh, water, juice, anything. Thank you. <clears throat> First lesson. If you don't know or care what you want, Neither will anyone else. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't come here to learn manners. Manners? I'm talking about primal instinct, lady. You're here to change yours because right now, you're nothing but a walking, talking target. Orange juice. Orange juice. Sorry, all out. Cover quickly and go to plan B. You do have a plan B. Iced tea. Iced tea. Come right up. Should I just drink this? I'm sure there's a way to drink this.
Hey, Pop. Jimmy. They, they let you go? Uh, no, sir. No, they... They were never gonna let me go. Don't worry. No one's gonna come look for me here. Heck, they don't even know my real name, so... Therefore, you do not exist. <laughs> hey, you still have your old work van? It's in the garage. Don't run so good. Oh, that's okay. I could probably fix it up. You need anything? No. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go take care of something, and, and I'll be right back. Okay, you wait here. Stay here. Yes, sir. You just wait and stay right here till I come back. Okay. okay. Bob, it's good to see you. I'll be right back. You hurt people, son. I brought you into this world. It's my duty to take you out of it. God forgive me. favorite chair, come on. I know I didn't turn it the way you expected, Pop. I... What? I... What? I tried. I know you did. I, I know you did. really tried. I know you did. Some people think that's enough, Pop, but... It's not. It's just not. Those people are wrong. You're always lousy at everything you tried, Pop. See, I needed you to be strong for me. Stand up for me. But you couldn't. You let Mom walk all over me and you. Like we was doormats or something. And now that dear old Mom is six foot under where she belongs, I'm not here to boss you around anymore. You don't know what to do with yourself, do you? No. It's okay. It's okay. Vengeance walks this earth, Bob. And it wears many faces. Sometimes it's rage. Sometimes it's desire. But tonight, he wears the face of compassion. Good morning. 
Did you say you were making breakfast? Sure did. Can I help? Have a seat. What is this? Breakfast. These are eggs. Rich in protein, low in sodium, cheap and easy to fix. Mm -hmm. What would you do if I attacked you right now? Um, probably throw these eggs in your face. Good. You know, using what you have. Almost anything can be used as a weapon. Like glass, cushion, newspaper, anything. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Good. Finish your meal, we'll start off with guns. Wait, so do I just... Is there a straw or... Hmm. This is different. Unit 12, what's your status? Still watching Beckett's previous residence. No sign of the suspect. Copy that. lives in a quiet neighborhood like this. I partnered with the son of a bitch once. Night shift. Yeah? Inhale, hold the beat. Exhale slowly and let the sight drift over the bullseye. Squeeze the trigger. With the what? The bullseye. Ah. Safety's on. Safety's on. Perfect miss. I keep messing up the technique. I'm sorry. You've got the technique. You're flinching when you pull the trigger. It's loud. Well, next time I'll get you a softer gun. Less than five. Keep your eyes open. On the target. Let's try it again. Safety off. Safety off. Exhale and squeeze. <laughs> there are two ways of hitting a target. The wrong way. It's just hit the surface, which wastes your energy and does nothing to your opponent. Except maybe piss him off like this. The correct way is to hit through your target and aim for the other side. What do you mean? I don't think I can do this right now. If you can't get through me, how are you going to beat the enemy? No, I don't, I don't think I can handle this right now. You can handle it. You got yourself here, Tess. Now go through it. What can you do? What do you mean? Any martial arts training? No. Sports, anything. Oh, but yeah, I was a cheerleader, you know. Cheerleader. All right. Can you kick? 
I used to kick, yes. Show me. Right here. What, you want me to kick you in your face? If you can. Gladly. <sighs> All right. We can work with that. Punch. Go! Go! Up! Block! Good! The target is there. Lock it out. Bend. Two forward. Good. Boom. Play. Boom. Bend. Good. Come on. Hit. Left. Good. Hit. Good. Duck. Good. Gun up. Down. Up. Down. Gun up. Up. Good. Up. Good. Hit. Good. Drop your gun. Package. Did she tell you about it? You know my policy. No client history. No, no, you need to know on this one, pal. You heard of James Beckett? Yeah, the serial killer. Thought you put that walking nightmare away a year ago. Yeah, well, he escaped. So? What's that got to do with Tess? She's his wife. Hold on. Put the safety on. Who is it? Stiff. Hello? He broke into your old house, Tess. Luckily, the new owners weren't there. But, uh... It looks like he was going for you. Yeah, am I, am I safe where I am here? No one knows where you are but me. Okay, my mother. Do you know where my mother is? Don't worry. I'm on my way right now to personally put her under protective custody. I'll phone you when I get there. Black, didn't you, officer? Casillas. Please, come here, Rafael. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. As I was saying, my husband died a year ago. And after all that trouble with a crazy man, Tess moved in with me. But she left after he broke out. Tess told me I would be safer if I didn't know where she was. I say in my opinion. Beckett has his own reasons for coming here to see you. What reasons? I barely knew the man. He never let me visit my own daughter. She was a prisoner in her own home. I say, Jean Beckett wants to hurt your daughter by hurting you, Mrs. Moore. I see. What can I do? There is only one thing you can do, Mrs. Moore. Suffer for your child. Ma. Jim. Where are you going? Where are you going? We're hey. not done yet. Hey. No. No, no. Come on. Please. No, me. No. Please, I'm not going to Come on. I'm out of here. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Come here, Ma. Let me tell you. Come on. Why am I doing this? What well, one? You never liked me, did you? And you always said really bad things about me to my, to my wife.
to your knock. Sorry. Um, could you hand me that towel, please? Different call. Your mother's in the hospital. Where are you going? To see her. I don't think that's a good idea. I have to make sure she's okay. Only put yourself at risk. Tess, you walk out of this house right now. I am no longer responsible for you. Would you go if it were your mother? She's gonna look pretty bad, but she's doing well, Tess, okay? She's in here. I'll talk to you afterwards. Wait, 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 wait! Hey, 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 wait, jeez, you're gonna mess up the whole floor. What is wrong with you? Let me take him. I got him, I got him. What's wrong with you? I got him. Here. There you go. Wait, hold this to your head. Press hard. Press hard. It'll stop Code the bleeding. Blue. Code blue. Report to room 62 staff. Just stay here. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. I can't believe this. Why did I marry him? Don't you blame yourself. One day, I found uh, all, all these photos stuffed into an envelope in the house. They are all of me. <laughs> Some were of me when I was 15. He's been watching me for years. He's been studying me. Everything I did. My friends, my family. And I know he picked me. Because he knew I wouldn't fight back. anything without a reason, okay? You don't think he could have killed your mother if he wanted to? Let me tell you something, since he's been out, he's killed five people, 
Okay? Two of them? She's my mother, Lance. Two of them! My best men. I'm not gonna leave my mother alone. Do you know what time it is? You were married to him for a year. Yet the only things we know about him are what he wants us to know. It's like trying to catch a ghost. Whew. I need all the help I can get. And you know what would help me? If you stay out of the way. Where can it go? That's another problem. JT isn't babysitting anymore. But don't worry. I'll make some calls. I'll find you another safe house. Thank you. Stay right here, okay? I'll be back. Jerry? Hey, Jerry. Talk to me. Hey, there you are. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, well, you, uh, you left these. These. You don't like the mail, huh? Put your hands in the air, Jim. Hey, Diff. Come on in. Shh. Hush up, Ma. Quiet. Put the gun down. Close the door. I'm gonna wait for my lovely wife to arrive. You know I can't do that, Jim. Put the gun down. It's over. It ain't over until I say it's over, buddy. Your mom and I are just waiting for you. Honey, I'm gonna rip your heart out.
Guess I'll be running this operation from a desk from now on. Yeah, well, maybe you should quit. Like me. I can't do that. Somebody I care about is still in danger. This is like family to me, man. Look, I did my best and it wasn't enough. What are you, blind? We almost caught this son of a bitch. Almost? Almost and get somebody killed, Lance. Hey! I know you came all the way out here for Tess. I saw how you looked at her. I look at her the same way I look at everybody. Right. I warned you people about Beckett. We're at war with this son of a bitch. So when I say that each of us will be pulling double shifts until this suspect is taken down, I mean it. For those of you newly assigned to this task force, let me give you a word of advice and you better listen sharp. Forget about what he looks like, okay? The only way to catch him is to concentrate on who he is underneath his disguises because that he can't change. Killing his ex-wife is all he has left to live for. That's his Achilles heel. And that's why we're gonna catch him. Officer Malloy, investigative support. Which units will be responsible for the personal protection of Miss Beckett? Uh, she's opted against police protection for the time being. That doesn't make sense, sir. Why would she do that? That's her choice. Where's she going now, sir? What? How are we gonna get her if we don't know where she is? Her current location is strictly on a need-to-know basis, and none of you motherfuckers need to know. So let's get up, let's get out, let's get him! Come on, move!
have been enough, me learning to shoot. I was dreaming. Jim won. He won. He took away everything I care about, and I did nothing about it. Nothing. He ran circles around the FBI, the police. What, do I think I can beat him? You did it once before. Right. Now he knows my strengths, he knows my weaknesses. He knows. He doesn't know you, Tess. He didn't win. He's human, so he's defeatable. You beat him once, you can do it again. We'll do more training tomorrow. No, 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 no more training, okay? This guy is out there right now, somewhere, planning to kill me. I'm gonna make him pay for what he's done. Jim said he came from, never heard of him. That got me thinking. Once, I heard him on the phone with someone he called Pop. His father's supposed to be dead. After Jim hung up, he went to the kitchen. I pressed redial. An old man answered. And Jim was coming back, so I had to hang up. But not before I got his name. His name is Henry Evans. And I think he could be his dad. And maybe Jim's father would know where his son is. You've got a plan for finding this guy. I'll be a Girl Scout. Selling cookies if I have to. Trust me, I'll get his address. Suppose you have the number handy. Huh? Of course. He could have been my father-in-law. I'll call the cops and have him check it out. No. Not like the mess at the hospital. The cops had their chance. It's my turn now. And what if Beckett is there? Then I'll need one of those. Oh, I don't think so. I never lend out my guns. I'm going with or without your guns, JT. This is it, Jim's father's house. Is he home? It's the right number. Nobody's answering. All right, I'm gonna check it out. See if we're on a wild goose chase or not. Hey, I wanna go. You're my backup. I need you safe out here. I think I'd be safer next to you. You got your gun? Stay close. You'd have been my first choice right after Teresa. The problem is, you smoke. It's a filthy fucking habit. My mother smoked. She smoked so much, you couldn't even breathe when you were around her. Uh, speaking of breathing, how are you doing over there? You're a very good friend. And I respect that. I really do. But, uh, you got maybe, I don't know, two minutes of air left before you suffocate. You sure you don't want to tell me where she is? I'll take the bag off. Yeah, yeah she'll tell me. What? Grocery. Okay. Mm. Sure. 
Bingo. Yeah. Time to call Lance. Get the police to stake this place out.
sweet to hear the safety of. We alone? You see, that's what we're wrong with a marriage. Lack of communication. I could have had anyone I wanted, but I picked you. You were the one. But then you betrayed me. Now tell me. Who's with you? Me. All I'm saying is that if she ever wants to pull a stunt like that again, you put her on the phone with me, and I'll straighten her out, okay? This was not her idea, Lance. It was mine. Whose ever idea it was needs to be shot. And you almost were. You see that, right? Huh? Do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Do this poor woman a favor. Go home and stay there. Do you understand me? And no more ideas. Don't ever try that again. Okay, Tess? Thanks enough. Killed my wife. Lynn said it was a drunk driver. I was driving her to the hospital. She was a week past due. Mm -hmm. She went from having this little 22 inch waist to 37 inches. <laughs> Looks like she had a basketball in her belly. That's beautiful. Contractions are getting painful, so I drove fast. The next thing I remember, I was waking up in the hospital, and they told me she 
and my baby were dead. We wanted a family. I just wanted to be a good daddy. I don't think it was your fault. I just wanted to be a good daddy. Detective Difford. Hey, Diff. Don't worry. I'm taking good care of her. You've been missing me for a long time now, haven't you, buddy? Well, I'm planning to do something about that real soon. How about tomorrow morning? Why don't you tell me where? OK. Uh, first things first, though. If I see or hear or even think you have anybody else with you, it will be the last time you hear this wonderful little voice. Go ahead, sweetie. Lance, it's me. Baby? No, it's me, Diff. <laughs> hey, 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 if you touch that, Jim, you son of a bitch, I'll kill you. Do you understand me? <laughs> hey, don't get your panties in a twist, OK? I know you know where Therese is. And I got to play hardball, sorry. You got a pen? Prepare to copy. Uh, yeah. The old rock quarry road. Where we used to shoot? Yeah. There's a big tree by that one big rock. That's the place. I'm taking good care of her. It's gonna be okay, don't worry. You shoot me, I shoot her. I just tossed the gun. Come on. She's dying, man. She's your wife. Come on. There you go. Ha -ha! Hey, all I want to know is where my wife is. I know you know. Just tell me where she is, and as a man of my word, I will let you take the bag off your wife's head. She's in Tucson. Take Route 17, a little house off the end of the road. I don't have my phone. Can I borrow yours? No. Give me a number. 520 791 And what's the asshole's name? JT Dillon. <clears throat> Yes, ma'am, please. Um, I need a number. Yes, Tucson, Arizona. Residence. Ah, ah. No, ma'am, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. It's just my kid. Yes, J.T. Dillon. Residence. Yes, ma'am. Would you give an address to? Thank you very much. You have a fine day, too. Bye-bye. Check it out. See? It wasn't that simple. As a man of my word, go ahead. Take it off.
you remember, honey. Are you gonna shoot? Speaking around the Look at him! This is JT Dillon. Please leave your message after the signal. Hi, honey, it's me. Pick up. I know you're there. I uh, just want to let you know I'm on my way over, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Then come on, you son of a bitch. Speak to your husband now. You're looking so beautiful, Teresa. We've got some catching up to do, don't we? Let's go. I'm excited. Do, do, do. Oh, you know what I saw of Dip and his wife? Oh, they said to say hi. And, uh, oh, your little friend Gina? Wow. <laughs> she did have some very beautiful eyes, didn't she? <laughs> Do me a big favor, and I need you to stay alive for me until I get back. All right, can you do it? Uh, shh, shh, shh. I'm gonna take the tape off, and if you scream, uh, I'm gonna get really mad. So don't scream. Please don't do I'm begging you, please don't do this to me. Yeah! Uh, Time. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Uh,
Jim Beckett, now it's back. Home run! Who's here? <laughs> Glad you could join us, honey. Put the gun down. He's wearing body armor, Tess. You have to hit him in the head. That's right, honey. You got to hit me in the head. Right between the eyes. Can you do that? Huh? I didn't think so. Now put the gun down. And I'll tell you what. I promise I won't blow the top of his head off. Okay? Let him go or I'll shoot. He's gonna kill me anyway, Tess. Save yourself. Take the shot. Take the shot, Teresa. You're still my wife. Put the gun down, honey. Put it down now! <laughs> you see? You just can't teach a coward to be brave. <laughs> That's the sad part. <laughs> So, it's my turn to babysit you. All right. There's one thing I'm going to teach you. And what's that? How to relax.